ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇലക്ട്രാ സ്പിരൻസ് ആൻഡ് അസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ടു ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഫോർ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ടൈപ്പ് എക്സാം പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇസ് എ ചാനൽ ഫ്രം ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇലക്ട്രിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക്സ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഓഫ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് കോളേജ് ഓഫ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഇരിഞ്ഞാലക്കുട ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫ്രം ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ടു ഫോർട്ടി ഓഫ് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് എഞ്ചിനീയർ എക്സാം ഓഫ് കെ എസ് സി ബി കണ്ടക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ ദ കേരള പി എസ് സി ഇൻ ദ ഇയർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടി so the 21th question is in an induction machine if the air gap is increased what will happen as we know that if the air gap is increased the magnetizing current required to develop the rated flux also increases so as the magnetizing current increases the phase angle between the voltage and magnetizing current increases as the phase angle increases we know that the power factor will be decreases so here the answer is the power factor will be lower that is option c next one is the all day efficiency of a transformer depends on we know that the all day efficiency is depending upon the amount of load we are connecting and also the duration of the load so both b and c are correct so there is an option d such that option d is both b and c are correct and next one is a transformer has negative voltage regulation when its power factor is option c uh, answer is option c leading okay that is we know that the power factor is a very determining factor in the secondary voltage of a transformer that is uh, based on the load we are connecting the negative voltage regulation occurs when we are connecting a capacitive load like that okay so for a capacity load the power factor will be leading okay and also two more points are the uh, You, uh, you must study that that is the maximum regulation occurs at lagging power factor and the zero regulation occurs at leading power factor and the next question is the instrument transformers are used in alternating current circuits for extending the range of the answer is all the above that is we, uh, we are using that to extend the range of ammeters voltmeters wattmeters etc okay so all the above is the answer here and the next one is an auto transformer has a transformation ratio of 0.7 supplies a load of 2 kw the power transferred conductively from primary to secondary is so the equation for the power transferred conductively here is p is equal to k into input kva k into input kva so here k is 0.7 and input kva we are taking it as input or output kva so output uh, load value is given 2 kw so 0.72 so we are getting 1.4 kilowatt so the answer here is option b 1.4 kilowatt then the number of armature parallel paths in a triplex lap wound 12 pole dc generator is uh, we know that uh, for a simplex lap wound generator the number of parallel path will be equal to number of poles and for a duplex lap wound generator the, the number of parallel path will be equal to Uh, number of pole into 2 that is 12 into 2 it is equal to 24 and for a triplex one it is equal to 12 into 3 36 so the answer is c option c 36 the full load copper loss of a transformer is 1200 watt its copper loss at a 50 percentage load would be here the uh, load is reduced by uh, 50% that is half so the equation is half square into the full load copper loss that is 1200 watt we will get just 300 watt okay so the answer here is 300 that is option a and the 28th question is a 400 kva 200 hertz transformer is operated at 100 hertz its kva rating is we know that the kva rating is directly proportional to the frequency uh, based on the equation that is the e voltage e is equal to 4.44 fi n if the flux and the number of turns are Uh, fixed the voltage here is directly proportional to frequency and hence it is directly proportional to the kva so here the kva is reduced uh, by 2 okay because the frequency is reduced by 2 so here the answer is 200 kva that is 28 the option is a 200 kva okay and the next question is an over excited synchronous generator runs at option b that is lagging power factor we know that an over excited generator delivers the reactive power hence it works at a lagging power factor then the next question is the voltage between adjacent coils in a crossover winding of a transformer should not be greater than so this question is cancelled 
by the PA, PSC in its final answer key. Okay. And the next 31th question is the percentage of silicon in transformer stampings is usually limited to option C 4 percentage. Then the next question is the permeability of a material is 0 0.99991. It is classified as option B that is diamantic material. We know that for a paramantic and ferromantic material as the magnetizing field increases the relative permeability also changes also increases okay so uh, for a diamantic material only the permeability will be slightly less than one okay so here answer is b and uh, 33 question is uh, 33 question is uh, history slows varies with uh, frequency f s this is also cancelled by ps in its final answer key then 34th one, the usual values of flux density B for a power transformer using hot rolled silicon steel is option B. That is 1.25 to 1.45 Weber per meter square. Next one is the ratio of height to width of a window while designing window dimension of a transformer can be between option B, 2 to 4. Okay, height to width of window will be in the ratio 2 to 4. The next one is queuing of rotor slots in an induction motor helps in. This is also cancelled by PS in its final answer key. We know that skewing is uh, used to uh, avoid the coging effect, that is the mantic locking effect. Okay. And the next question is in induction motors, larger the air gap, dash noise level and dash cooling. This is also cancelled by PSC in its final answer key. Okay. Next one is alternatives are usually rated in KVA. Alternatives and transformers are usually rated in KVA. Then due to skin effect, the effective resistance dash with the increase in frequency. We know that due to skin effect, the effective area will be area of a conductor is uh, reduces. When area reduces, we know that uh, the resistance increases. So option B, that is 39. Option B, that is resistance increases. Okay. The next one is the surge impedance of a transformer line is given by equation B, that is root of L by C. Okay. So I hope all of you understand the questions and answers very well. Thank you.